What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead video. Now, this is gonna be the review for Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 15. If you're a fan of Fear the Walking Dead, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Fear the Walking Dead, you get them. Now this episode just didn't do it for me, man. It was okay. It was better than some of the other episodes that we got for the second half of season seven, but it still wasn't all that. In my opinion, episode 14 was the best episode so far of the second half of season seven. This episode just didn't do it for me. It was titled Amina, and it was pretty much about Alicia, man. It had other people in it too, but it was just about her. She had to follow this little girl to the tower because this little girl, you know, said that she could help her with their bite, help her get better and stuff. She said they just had to go and help her friend and radio, you know, her friend in order for them to do this. She also said she knows where Padre is and stuff. So, of course, Alicia was down to go and find out where Padre actually is. You know, Alicia keeps passing out. She's not doing that great. She's sick in this episode. Nobody believes her that she's seen a little girl. You know, Alicia keeps telling all her friends that she's seen this girl and nobody really believes her. But then they agree to go with her to the tower. But then Alicia eventually says, no, you guys need to go back to the rafts. I'll do this myself. So they all end up going back to the rafts. Alicia goes into the tower. You know, they make their way up to the top of the tower and stuff. Come to find out the friend that the little girl was talking about was Victor Strand. And come to find out who the little girl actually was, was Alicia. She was Alicia's younger version of herself. So Alicia, you know, she's been seeing things. She doesn't know what's real or what's not anymore. And this little girl is pretty much here to save her. You know, so Alicia can do what she needs to do to help everybody, to lead everybody to where they need to go. And also the little girl is telling Alicia that she has to save Strand. So she comes across Strand in the tower. You know, Strand is super drunk. He's been drinking and stuff. He doesn't know what to think because... He let everything get this far and now the tower is ruined. It's burning and stuff. And he's just really depressed. And Alicia is sitting there next to Strand. She lays down and stuff because she can't move, man. She's super weak. She can't do anything. This infection is really taking over her body. And the little girl, you know, gave her this bullet and she had it around her neck. It looks like she's finally deciding to use it or whatever. And she wants to use it on herself. So she points the gun at her head. She was going to shoot herself. But thank God she didn't do it, man. Thank God. I love Alicia. She's definitely one of my favorite characters on the show just because, you know, she's been here since the beginning. I really rock with her. You know, she's had her badass moments and I just love her character. It sucks that she's going through what she's going through right now with the infection and stuff. But she didn't end up shooting herself. Strand was trying to talk her out of it and stuff. And then she seen a bird on the windowsill. She was saying that that was her last thing she was supposed to do, you know, before she dies or whatever. And then the little girl appears and tells her everything she needs to do. Now, even though this wasn't my favorite episode of the second half, I still got to shout out Alicia Debnam Carey, man. She did an amazing job. She is such a phenomenal actress. I mean, she did an amazing job, especially the scene where she was getting ready, you know, to shoot herself. And just the acting in that scene was amazing. I'm like, wow, this woman can act. So shout out to her. You know, shout out to Coleman Domingo. You know, they both did some amazing work in this episode and I loved it. They always have, you know, every season of fear. They have always did some phenomenal work, but particularly in this episode, they really killed it. So she gets Strand out of there, takes Strand back with her to the beach, you know, where the rafts are at and stuff. And we see everybody there, man, all the friends. You know, we see Dwight, Sherry, uh, Daniel, we see everybody, everybody that they've been with over the years. They're there getting ready to get on the rafts. And Victor was going to go on the raft with Alicia. And then Alicia said, no, you guys go. Everybody go without me. Alicia said, look, I'm not going to take the risk. I don't know when I'm going to die or if I'm going to die. She doesn't want to turn and bite somebody. So she pushes Strand out into the water without her. She was going to stay behind. And it's crazy, man. Strand and Alicia had another moment. You know, they said they love each other and stuff. Alicia actually said to Strand, I love you. It was just crazy because I didn't see that coming. I didn't see Strand coming back from this. You know, Strand was the villain for a minute. And now it seems like he's been redeemed. Seems like he's going to be with the group again. 
You know, nobody liked him for a while. But now it seems like Strand is going to be the good guy again. He was never actually the good guy, but he's going to be somewhat of a good guy now because Coleman Domingo said he was coming back for season eight. So apparently Strand's not going to die. And before everybody left on the raft, I forgot to say this. Alicia talked to Morgan on the walkie because Grace gave Alicia the walkie. And Morgan was talking about he heard some chatter on the walkie talkies and stuff about Padre. So Padre is real. I don't know if it is or not, man, but Morgan said it is. And Alicia seems to think so, too. I don't know. Maybe Madison is part of this Padre. We see a trailer for the next episode, the season finale. We actually see Madison. And it seems like she's with some not so friendly people. So I don't know if Madison is going to be a bad guy now or what. But it's crazy because, you know, Alicia collapses. Seems like she passed out. And when she wakes up in the next scene, she's completely fine. You know, she doesn't look sick anymore or nothing. She looks actually healthy and everything. And then she sees the little girl version of herself. You know, they're just talking and looking at each other and stuff. And the little girl showed Alicia her arm. Her bite completely disappeared. So that means Alicia is healed. I have no idea how. But yeah, she isn't sick anymore. And that's what's up. But it showed Alicia walking off and stuff. And I don't even know if Alicia is going to be in any more episodes. I heard somewhere that this was going to be Alicia Debnam Carey's last episode. Because, you know, she's going to be part of another project called Saint X. Victoria Pedretti was supposed to be the leading star in that series for Hulu. But apparently, Alicia Debnam Carey is taking over now as the leading star. Because Victoria, you know, she had some creative differences or whatever so she had to back out so alicia is going to be doing another project so i don't know if she's going to be missing from fear or not i hope she's not man because i love her character and i'm going to really hate it if madison comes back on here and alicia and madison don't get to interact i'm going to be pissed and i'm also going to be pissed if madison doesn't get to interact with some og fear characters you know like daniel and victor and stuff if madison does not get to interact with any of these characters i'm gonna be pissed seriously pissed i was upset we didn't get to see madison in this episode but at least we got to see her tape you know with her talking and stuff we got to see a little bit of stuff about her but she will for sure be in the next episode and i can't wait but what did you guys think of episode 15 let me know comment your thoughts down below i'm gonna give this episode um, a 7.5 out of 10. It was just decent. It wasn't the greatest. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else for the season finale? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Fear the Walking Dead content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.